Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the fascinating, exotic and certainly spectacular city of Perth here in Western Australia. And in this particular video we're going to visit one of the most world famous museums of the country. The Art Gallery of Western Australia, right in the center of Perth. I will show you my favorite exhibits. This is Vic. Let's go for a walk. Let's do it. Okay, my friends, I'm right in the center of the city of Perth in Western Australia. This is the cultural center of Perth. And right here ahead of us, we see the beautiful building of the Art Gallery of Western Australia. And this is the building we're going to visit for the next couple of hours or so. And we're going to videotape for you what I think are the main exhibits, or at least the most interesting exhibits for you to see. Entrance is for free. And on a beautiful, hot, sunny day, we're going to enjoy the air-conditioned spaces of the Art Gallery of Western Australia. Now, having said that, it is time to go inside and to enjoy your visit. Let's do it. And uh, here we see a panoramic view of one of the rooms of the museum. And here's the bronze sculpture by Barbara Hepworth from 1971. Two forms in echelon. And uh, here's the reclining figure by Henry Moore from 1956. And uh, here's a beautiful sculpture from 1957 by the German artist Jean Arp, A-R-P. It is lab labeled the torso of a giant. As we're also getting a panoramic view of the beautiful rooms of the Art Gallery of Western Australia here in Perth. And uh, here's a beautiful sculpture by Arturo Martini from Milan in Italy. It is made out of glazed ceramic. It was created in 1934 and it is labeled the Gypsy. Very rarely we see sculptures made out of glazed ceramic. This is a beautiful one indeed. And I really, really love the colors of this painting by Charles Blackman from 1957. A Sydney-born artist. It is labeled Alice. He painted this painting here after he read the 1865 famous adventure novel by Lewis Carroll. And uh, here is a massive painting by Juan da Villa, an artist born in Chile, in South America, and who moved to Melbourne, Australia in 1974. He completed this painting in 1987. It's a very, very complicated painting with a lot of meanings. 
One of them is sexuality and contemporary issues. And it is absolutely massive and beautiful at the same time. Juan da Villa, 1987. And uh, here's a panoramic view of one of the rooms of the gallery here in Perth. It is a huge building with exhibits on three different floors so you can spend quite a few hours really going through all the exhibits and it's a beautiful building indeed from an architectural perspective as well And uh, here is a beautiful bronze statue of Adam by the famous French sculptor Auguste Rodin, who died in 1924. Adam. I'm now on the second floor of the gallery on the historical exhibit of the gallery. And this is what we find, this beautiful sculpture here. And uh, here is the beautiful kangaroo vase by Hannah Barlow, an English artist. She created this beautiful vase in 1900 and it is made out of uh, glazed earthware. You can see the kangaroos right there on the vase. And uh, here's a collection of Aboriginal paintings or indigenous art. And uh, instead of showing to you each one separately, I would like to show them all to you as I'm walking through the gallery so you can see how beautiful, how special, how unique this art is. We have seen very similar paintings in Brisbane. Let's walk through and let's look at these ones. Here's a panoramic view of this room here of the gallery on the second floor. And in one of the rooms we find an exhibit by Sue Ford. She was a leading Australian photographer in the 1960s and 70s and she created a series of portraits, moving portraits called Faces. She was born and died in Melbourne. You can see some of the faces exhibited here in a dark room in the gallery. She created these faces in the 1970s 
up to the mid-1990s. Very interesting. 